What's up, people? This is Javi here, and today I'm coming at you with a review of episode 3 of Arrow entitled Lone Gunman. I have to say, for char for character development, this was a really good episode. Um, It really expanded on quite a few of the background characters, such as Tommy, Mora, who's Oliver's mother, and Quentin Lance, who's Laurel's father. Uh, Tommy gets a lot of good development in this episode, with his and Laurel's relationship being finally put out in the open. And him finding out that Oliver is completely cool with it. Um, he apologizes to Oliver, who wasn't even asking for an apology, and shows that underneath his more playboy douchebag exterior, um, Tommy actually is a pretty decent guy. Um, or that's what it looks like now. Um, I don't know if down the line this might change, and um, you know, Tommy ends up going back to being more douchebaggy. But um, for this episode, he showed to be a pretty decent person. Um, he ex explains himself to Oliver, which should be, you know, self-explanatory, but I still like that he actually went out of his way to actually do that, showing, you know, that, you know, that the friendship between them is pretty important. Um, and, you know, him and Oliver kept their friendship extremely tight. Um, and they even uh, backed each other up in a club fight, and this club fight occurred uh, after um, after the whole truth was spilled out uh, by Oliver's sister, Thea. Um, the episode uh, ends with uh, Tommy and Laurel, I guess, officially becoming a couple. Um, I'm not sure what to think of this right now. Um, certainly interesting, since most people, including myself, were pretty sure that uh, Laurel would be Oliver's main love interest. Um, I guess it's, it's supposed to be kind of like the Clark-Lana-Lex triangle on Smallville. I mean, love triangle on Smallville. But um, since everyone is already legal, uh, they're not waiting five years to have it played out, um, which I guess it's good to just get it out of the way. Of course, I would personally say just don't have it. Uh, but this is the CW where we always got to have a love triangle. Uh, Mora was also given some good development in this episode. Um, we got to see her actually act like a mother, namely a mother to Thea. And the episode also confirmed that uh, she is pretty... N n Glexpool to Thea, showing where Thea's um, rebelliousness um, is coming from. Uh, but her scenes with Thea showed that uh, she genuinely does care for her daughter and she wants the best for her, which definitely helps to elevate her character uh, quite a bit. Um, yes, she's still a villain, but now I'm thinking it's probably going to be likely that um, someone is probably pulling her own strings and this may be the whole, you know, gotten a bit too far over my head um, sort of a uh, scenario playing out here. Um, and if not that, well, then it will likely be that um, she was, like, fully on board but is not having second thoughts. Um, should be interesting to see how things eventually play out um, with her character. Uh, we also had some more development with uh, Quentin Lance, who, uh, despite uh, hunting down Arrow, like the typical hard-ass copy is, um, was willing to listen and kind of work with him. Um, he may not agree with Arrow and definitely believes he's breaking the law, which he is since vigilanticism is illegal, um, but he is willing to put aside what he needs to for the bigger picture, which is definitely a character that I'm able to um, get behind, you know, and intelligent man when he has to be. Um, as for the character of Laurel, I have mixed feelings about her this episode. Um, I can still get where she's coming from, but she did act kind of dickish to Oliver in the nightclub scene after the after the fight, um, which I didn't think it was really, I mean, that necessary. Um, but it was precluded by a pretty kick-ass fight scene, though, involving Oliver, Tommy, and Laurel, which showed that... Um, Laurel has uh, some nice skills, which I had pretty much figured. Um, so should any trouble arise, she should be able to handle herself and to handle herself, and uh, not be the typical uh, damsel in distress like other such characters. Um, but um, she is willing to give Tommy a chance, and she does acknowledge that Oliver has realized um, how wrong he was and has set his boundaries pretty correctly um which of course is admitting that despite what uh, oliver had said in the pilot he really has changed uh which i think is something that both laurel and tommy um got to really see in this episode and hopefully that should only further um 
advance their characters. Um, now this episode did have its faults. Um, Deadshot mostly, I felt really wasn't much of um, a villain, despite the fact that in the DC comic he's supposed to be like the world's best markman um, or something like that. I mean, he like never misses a target. Um, he wasn't bad, mind you, but I felt he could have been used just way better and could have just been done better. Um, Arrow ends up killing him in the end, which was kind of disappointing as he's another villain that I would have liked to have come back, maybe teaming up with uh, China White. Um, okay, maybe I'm going a bit to Legion of Doom here, um, but I do uh, love it when villains team up. Uh, it can be fun uh, and really exciting when done right, um, but there are but there are other villains making their way to Arrow, so we'll see how they fare um, when they go up against the Green Archer. Um, another fault I found was Oliver not being the greatest at keeping his secret. Um, he kept letting a lot of things uh, slip left and right, and it was really just really off-putting, um, especially with all this narration that I assume is supposed to be um, inside of his head. Um, you think he, he would be able to just keep his thoughts to himself. Um, and that's the thing. They could have just as easily just had him look worried or constantly, like, looking out, and that should have been enough to catch his uh, bodyguard's attention. Um, this episode also ends uh, with the bodyguard. John is his name, by the way. Um, it ends with him learning who Oliver is. Um, and the previews for next week show them disagreeing to the point of uh, there being a physical fight. Um, and I love... A good fight scene so I'm all for that uh, not that I want to see any harm come to John mind you um, I'm actually happy that uh, Oliver has his first um, confidant um, and I think as time goes on more and more we'll learn about Oliver uh, it's been hinted at already that Thea uh, will become Speedy who is Oliver's sidekick in the comics um, and I think it's likely that Laurel will probably also learn about Oliver um, Tommy, I can see being largely kept in the uh, dark. Um, that I think that Oliver will likely be the thing that drives them apart as a couple. Um, I'm just speculating on that, but believe me, TV shows love cliche, cliche so it wouldn't really shock me at all. Uh, but all in all, good episode for flushing out characters who had uh, really just been in the background. Like I said, Tommy... Uh, Quentin Lance, Maura Queen, um, pretty good episode that actually, you know, flush, you know, for them, because it helped to flush out their characters, um, not so good for Deadshot, you know, for a badass DC villain, he got taken out rather easily, and, uh, Oliver got, gotta learn not to think out loud to himself, uh, he really does, um, so, next week is the episode, and, innocent man and i'll be back with my thoughts on that so till the till then this is javi signing out